Hey y'all, I'm back again um, for another week of reading off Tumble Books. Um, so blessed to have the technology to do this and be able to read to all you guys. Um, it's been super fun and exciting despite having to be separated from um, all of our patrons and not being able to see my little kiddos that came in every week. But um, despite all that, we are making it through and we are going to do another um, read off tumble books. Um, today we're going to read The Dot. Um, if you want to follow along at home on your computer or your tablet or whatever, um, you can just log on to tumble books with our username and password that has been um, provided on our personal website. You can also... Um, Join us tomorrow for virtual story hour. Um, we've been doing that on Zoom and our meeting ID is actually on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page. So it'll tell you all the details you need to know. Um, other than that, I think we'll go and get started today. We're reading The Dot off Tumble Books. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. We miss you so much and we are just glad to be providing you this opportunity per usual. Um, so let's go and get started. All right, let's get this here. We got The Dot. This is a super fun little book. Art class was over, but Vashidi sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashidi's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashidi. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashidi grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There, she said. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied at it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashidi and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashidi thought for a moment, Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week when Vashidi walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Fancy, fancy. Look at that. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashidi painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red, she discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashidi kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashidi splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashidi even made a dot, but by not painting a dot. Ain't that cool? Ooh. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashidi's many dots made quite a splash. Look at all those, very cool. Vashidi noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist, I, he said. I wish I could draw. I bet you can, said Vashidi. Me, no, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. That's exactly what she had said before. Funny how that works. Vashidi smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashidi stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, Please sign it. 
the end. All right, that was a wonderful little book. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that one. Um, it's a little short, but it was pretty cute, and I liked that a lot. Um, during this time, it's always important to make sure you're doing some sort of art. Um, it always keeps the kids engaged. I love doing art projects with my niece and nephew. Um, and they really need their chances to express their creativity during this time. So, um, other than that, I will let you go. Um, I hope to see some of you at our virtual Zoom meeting. Um, but if you can't make it, I understand. Um, keep enjoying our YouTube videos. Um, be sure to subscribe. Uh, let's see. I keep saying uh, a lot, but um, <laughs> I think that's all I got for you today. So um, that'll be it. And I will see you guys next week. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And I hope that soon enough we can get to see each other again. But until then, we will just keep on doing what we're doing. Stay happy.